Hi painters, this is Deborah. I'm here to talk to you about my tutorial that we're doing for the Easter Bunny paint kit. And at this point, I'm outlining your canvas completely. Your canvas is going to come completely outlined in Sharpie marker, so you won't have any worry about getting it perfect. Uh, what comes in your paint kit is an 11 by 14 canvas a selection pre-measured paints that are easy to use and they're perfect colors specifically for this painting. You get four paint brushes. Um, you will get a palette and you'll find this kit on paperpalettestudio.com. It will get shipped to you and uh, you'll enjoy your spring bunny, your Easter bunny. Um, I'm going to pour out a selection of paints here, and these paints are specifically for the background. We'll work on the background first. Um, I'm using titanium white or snow white. I will also use Windsor blue. But what I find with my Windsor Blue is, um, and this here is a dab of black. You need a little bit of black to mix with your white. Uh, with the Windsor Blue in this particular tube that we buy, the, the cap on it gets bound together with the paint itself. So I use a kitchen tool, which is a crab claw cracker. This crab claw cracker actually has two uh, sections on it, and it makes it super easy to open up your uh, tube by cap. It, it, it allows the very, um, it allows the crab claw just to snap that top, the top right off and it's easy to pour out. So once we get all of our paints, we're going to start on the background. What I'm doing is using a three quarter inch flat brush. That's the largest brush that comes in the kit. And we're going to measure, well, we're going to use some of the blue, some of the white. And it'll give you this very, very nice light, light blue so we can start our background. You decide how dark you want it. I like to go kind of light with it. And I take the paint right up to the black line of the tracer. This paint has... Uh, a really nice flow to it. I don't add any water. It's a damp brush, not a wet brush. It's a damp brush, but the paint just glides right on. And I'll paint all around the canvas, around the sides. Uh, you'll do your sides at the same time you're doing your background so that all the colors match together. I like to add a little bit more white on one side of my canvas just to kind of break it up and give it a little bit of uh, variation. So you can see where I'm adding white and that'll lighten it up quite a bit. Now you can go right up to this black line or you can cover the black line. It's completely up to you. Um, it won't matter. The paint is opaque, so it will cover that black line eventually if you want it to. If not, then you can outline your whole rabbit when you're finished with a fine liner and black paint. So doing your sides at the same time Makes, it makes sure that, uh, that you're using the same color all the way around. 
and everything is even and everything is within the same hue or the same family. I rotate the canvas as I go just so that I could get right into every corner that I need to get into. I use a flat side of my, my brush and then I'll use that brush straight on as well at the very top. I'll just um, do it at a 90 degree angle. So as you can see from here, one side of the canvas is darker than the other side. It's starting to shift in, um, in color. You'll see that it gets lighter and lighter on one side. And I'll take that all the way around that side of the bunny's face and right down past his um, bow tie and down through his shoulders. All right. So you move down the canvas, you go kind of around his bow tie and around his ear. You get a nice good coat right up around his ear. Right up over here. Now, all in through this area is going to be covered with flowers, so that's okay. Um, you're just going to put as much color down as you can to cover the canvas itself, but then even that color will be also covered. But we just want some sort of a pale, you could use pink, you could use teal blue, you can use yellows. It's okay to choose the color that you like. Make it on the light side because it's going to be covered anyway with all your pretty flower work. We're going to switch brushes when we get to the body of our bunny. Okay. There we go. Yeah. See, I'm picking up some of the darker blue. Just fine. As I clean my brush off, I'm going to come right up in here and clean this off. Okay, so there we go. Um, let me get my borders. Yes, that looks pretty good. But I'm going to get the borders done on the sides here. They are gonna need some color. And there's also something I like to do. We'll do it maybe, I don't know, we might do it last. It's something I do with a palette knife and it's just touching the edge around here, giving it 
this dark kind of a line. But meanwhile, let's just get it covered with at least one coat of paint and then we could decide how we want to handle that after. Let's do our top. Doing it all at one time ensures that the color, the color stays even. If, for example, I don't do my sides now and I finish my painting and then I go, oh, I gotta go do my sides. Well, I might mix the wrong or use a different brush or whatever and it ends up being a different color because it's not coming from the same batch, if you will. All of this will definitely just blend in. Okay. Ugh. All right. We're going to reserve the bottom because the bottom is going to be the rabbit's um, body. So we'll, we'll wait for this part to dry. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to let this dry. We're not going to start on anything else until the rest of it dries. And then I'll show you how to do our bunny's face and body. Okay. Clean our brush off. We're going to dry it. I want to say thank you to everybody who came out to watch this. Please like and subscribe below if you like this video and you want to see more like this. And please go to paperpalettestudio.com so you can order your Spring Bunny paint kit in time for the holiday. Thank you, and I cannot.